Hello guys, um, welcome again to another discussion with Sir Ariel and today ang pag-uusapan natin is all about increasing and decreasing functions. So, another application of differentiation. So, ikoconnect natin ito sa differentiation since ang topic natin um, previously is all about derivatives. So, paano, ano nga ba ito yung, ano yung, ano to sir? So, ang point dito class is that, alamin natin kung kailan nag um, pataas yung graph ng ating function at what intervals pataas yung graph ng ating function and then at what interval pababa yung graph ng ating function okay so without um parang kahit hindi mo na sketch yung function natin without sketching the function malalaman natin kung kailan siya increasing and kailan siya decreasing Okay, um, using differentiation. Okay, so let's check this graph. So assuming class, we have this graph. Okay, so from intervals A to B, nasa, dito sa x-axis natin na, dito sa baba. Okay, this is your x-axis. From intervals A to B, okay, yung function natin class is that increasing siya. Okay, kaya meron tayo itong curve AB, increasing siya. Okay, then next, from intervals B to C, okay, ang points natin ay nasa pagitan ni B and C. Yung drawing ng ating function, yung sketch ng ating function ay pababa. Yes, and then from interval C to D, yung drawing ng ating function ay pataas naman. And then intervals D to E, pataas siya ulit. Ibig sabihin class, that from interval C to E, increasing na or pataas na yung graph ng ating function. So, from intervals A to B, increasing. Intervals B to C, decreasing. And then increasing ulit siya from C to E. Okay? Yan ay pag drawing mo siya. Doon mo siya may interpret So, what if hindi mo siya i-drawing? Applying differentiation lang. Okay? So, ang gagawin lang is that ito yung gagawin natin. Sana ako. Okay. Um, balikan natin, class, yung angle between two curves and meaning ng differentiation. ba diba? Ang sabi natin, class, na ang first derivative is the slope of the tangent line to a certain point in the curve. Okay? To the curve. Okay? The tangent line to a curve. So, tong curve AB natin, okay, kuha tayo ng point dito. Okay, yung derivative niya ng class at that certain point, okay, yung slope niyan with respect to your x-axis, okay, ang mabubuo natin dyan class ay acute angle. Tama ba? Acute angle yung mabuo natin dyan. Ibig sabihin class, doon sa lesson natin na angle between two curves, na if the angle is acute angle, that means the slope is positive. Tama ba? The slope is positive. Therefore, the slope class is greater than zero. And ang sabi natin class that the slope is just the first derivative of the function. Okay? First derivative of the function. Okay? So, that must be equal to 0. And ano pa greater than 0 class? Ibig sabihin, if it is greater than 0, yung function natin at that certain point is increasing. Sa interval na yan, increasing siya. Okay? Next naman, itong interval B to C, kung makikita mo class, kung kuha tayo ng certain point dyan, Kunin natin yung tangent line dyan with respect to your x-axis, ang makukuha natin ay obtuse angle. And last time, doon sa discussion natin between um, angle between two curves, na if it is obtuse angle, ang slope nyan ay lesser than zero or a negative value. Nakuha? That means class is that F prime of x is lesser than 0. Okay? Or values ng x, yung know, makukuha natin dito class, as we substitute the value of x is lesser than 0, that means class decreasing yung ating function. So, ganun lang siya. 
Now, kung makikita nyo naman, class, itong point B, okay, erase ko muna to ah. Erase ko muna siya. Okay. Kung makikita mo naman dito, meron tayong B, point C, and point D. Lahat sila ay may line, horizontal line. And in that line class, that is horizontal to your x-axis. Means class, the slope of this, pag horizontal, wala siyang inclination. The slope is equal to 0. And if the slope is equal to 0 class, that means class, um, stationary, okay? Yung ating mga, yung stationary, yung function natin at that certain point. Now, kukunin natin yung slope nito pero equal to 0. So, ibig sabihin, f prime of x is equal to 0. Ngayon, yung value ni x dito class na magigi equate siya sa 0, ang tawag dun ay critical points. Okay? So, kailangan natin kunin yung critical values or the critical numbers wherein the function is stationary. Ibig sabihin, class, at that point, hindi siya decreasing or hindi siya increasing. So, dyan mag start class, dyan sa mag end Okay? So, dyan yung magiging um, basis ng ating mga intervals mamaya. So, kunin natin yung mga critical points by getting the first derivative and then we equate it to zero. Okay? So, to summarize, sabi dito class, if f prime of x is greater than zero for all a, okay, as x is greater than a and lesser than b, then the function of x increasing is increasing in the interval i. And if f prime of x is lesser than zero, for all a, okay, as x is greater than a but lesser than b, then the function of x is decreasing in the interval i. Okay? So, let's take this for example. Example number one. Uh, find the interval or intervals where the function defined by your function x cubed minus 6x squared plus 9x plus 1 is increasing and where it is decreasing. So, una class is that we get the critical numbers or the critical points by getting the first derivative of the given function. So, step 1. So, step 1 natin is we get the derivative of the function. So, f prime of x, okay, so, una natin f of x is x cubed minus 6x squared minus i plus 9x plus 1. So, f prime of x is, o baba, copy the base minus 1, that is 3x squared minus um, baba times 6, that is 12x, and then derivative of 9x is 9, and then plus 1, ay, derivative of 1 is 0. And then, ano yung sabi natin kanina? Para makuha natin yung critical points, we have to equate the first prime x to 0. So, 0 now, palitan natin sa si f prime x equals 3x squared minus 12x plus 9. And then, um, pwede mo siyang gawing 0 equals 3. Labas ko si 3, x squared minus 12 divided by 3. So, that is 4x. Then, 9 divided by 3, that is 3. And then, I-multiply ko lahat by one-third. So, that will give me... Then, pagbalik ta rin ko na ha para equal sa zero. So, zero times one-third is zero. And then, one-third times three is makakancel si three. So, magiging x squared minus 4x plus three. Balik ta rin ko na class equals zero. And then, we get the values of our x. So, ano yung mga values ni x dito class? Okay. So, makukuha natin class is 1 and 3. Sir, paano yung nakuha? Ganito. Okay? Kunin mo yung mga, via trial and error class, kunin yung mga factors nito. So, diba, that is x minus 3 times x minus 1 equals 0. And then, equate mo x minus 3 equals 0. So, kung kukunin natin yung value ni x, transpose ko sa 3 sa kabila, magiging x is equal to 
3. So, x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, x is equal to 1. So, ang value natin dyan class ng x natin or critical numbers natin ay si 1 and 3. So, ibig sabihin class at point 1 and 3 is stationary yung function natin. Okay? So, i-graph natin siya. Okay, 0, 1, 2, 3. So, ibig sabihin class, ito is towards negative infinity and this one is towards positive infinity. So, itong 1 and 3 ngayon class, ito yung magiging um, interval, pagitan kung saan may increasing and decreasing. Okay. So, ang interval ngayon class is from negative infinity, okay, from negative infinity and 1, okay, that is your I1, interval 1. Itong interval 2 natin class, interval 2 is from 1 to 3. And then, ang interval 3 natin is from 3 to positive infinity. Yan yung intervals natin class. So, yung magiging itsura ng graph natin is, hindi pa natin alam. Okay, from negative infinity to 1, either increasing siya or decreasing. Then from I3, magpa-fall down siya or magpapataas um, siya. And then sa interval 3 natin, hindi natin alam kung increasing or decreasing siya. Okay? So, iayos natin. Ito yung magiging step 3 natin class. So, assuming hindi nyo muna nakita yung, yung, yung sketch niya. So, this one. So, ano yung graph yung intervals natin? So, intervals is from negative infinity okay, negative infinity to 1 and then from 1 to 3 and then from 3 to positive infinity and then we choose x within the interval mag-assume ka lang class ng value from the interval so, from negative to infinity, siguro ilagay ko is 0. Okay? X is equal to 0. Diba? X, okay, infinity to, negative infinity to 1, okay, um, meron kang value ni um, X is equal to 0. Mag-assume ka lang any value of X between negative infinity to 1. Okay? And then, from 1 to 3, oh, syempre, anong pagitan nila? 2. Okay? X is equal to 2. And then, 3 to infinity, pwede na si 4. Okay, 5 gusto mo, okay lang din yon. Then, we substitute the value of our x to our f prime of x. Ano yung sabi natin kanina class na if f prime of x is greater than 0, okay, ang magiging remarks natin ay increasing. Okay, if f of prime x is lesser than 0, then the function is decreasing. Okay? So, let's check. Um, what if we substitute na? Ano yung f prime x natin? Balik mo doon. That is 3x squared. So, that is 3x squared minus 12x plus 9. So, palitan ko daw si x class ng 0. So, 3 times 0 squared minus 12 times 0 plus 9. And that is equal to ilan yan class? Um, use your calculator or mental natin. Okay? So, that will give us 9. Tama ba? Um, 0 na to, 0 plus 9. So, that is 9. Okay, next. If x is equal to 2 naman, 3 times 2 squared minus 12 times 2 plus 9. So, that is 4 times 3. That is 12 and then minus 12 times to 24, so negative 12 plus 9. So, ilan yun class? Negative 12 plus 9, that is negative 3. And then pag 4 naman, 3 times 4 squared minus 12 times 4 plus 9. So, that is 4 squared, 16 times 3 and so on. Then plus 9, that is positive 9. Okay, punta na tayo sa remarks natin class. If function of prime x is greater than 0, means positive value, okay? So, that is 9 class, positive yan, that is greater than 0. Ibig sabihin class, okay? So, 9 is greater than 0, yung function natin ay increasing. 
Let's check mamaya kung pataas nga ba talaga siya from interval negative infinity to 1. And then, that is negative 3 class and negative 3 is lesser than 0. That means class, yung function natin ay decreasing. And that is 9 and that is again greater than 0. And ibig sabihin class, from interval na um, positive 3 to positive infinity, increasing yung ating function. Okay? Let's check. So, if we're going to graph it class, ito yung magiging itsura niya. Tama ba? So, et, ito yung 1 class and ito yung 3 natin. So, sabi class, from negative infinity class, yung drawing niya from negative infinity to 1, okay, hanggang sa 1, increasing yung function natin. Tama ba? Pataas siya. Increasing siya. Okay? And then, from interval 1 to 3, okay, interval 1 to 3 class, ang function natin ay decreasing. And then, and 3 to positive infinity, 3 onwards, ang ating function class I increasing. Nakuha ba natin yon? Increasing, decreasing, and increasing. So, yun lang siya. So, without graphing it class, una, so kunin mo muna si first derivative niya. So, set to zero, kunin mo yung critical points, and then yung critical points mamaya class, yun yung magiging interval. Okay? Yun yung magiging interval mo. So, after setting it, choose x within the interval, Substitute mo, and then if f prime of x is greater than 0, means from that interval class that is increasing, and then if it is lesser than 0, that is decreasing. Nakuha? Okay? So, in the next video's class, um, I will give you another examples.